I got such a good idea for you. I can't believe that I've never shared this before. It's truly, well, it's, it's pretty good. Look, you'll like it, just watch. A better you starts today. How goes this? You know how you've got an immune system? I think that we all do because we've all been 10 years old and been like, mm, come on, I want to stay sick. Don't want to go to meths. Yeah? So you've been suppressing your immune system deliberately? Good. You'll know what this is like. God, I'm glad that everybody did that. I, I think. Probably a couple of uh, Asian students there just being like, you didn't want to go to school? But yeah, for the rest of us whiteys, we all know what we're talking about. So, here's what happens. You have a psychological immune system as well. Wow, that's interesting, isn't it? And if you don't think that's interesting, why are you here? Because you should, you really should know why this is gonna be very beneficial to you. Like owning one of those cats without any hair. So every time you look at it, you think, <laughs> my life could be worse. <laughs> that's not very good genetics, is it? Yeah. Here's what I think you should be focusing on with this psychological immune system point. Guess what happens? Say you lose a job. Your brain will eventually float into the field of, yeah, well, the reason I didn't is because the interviewee wasn't being fair to me. That's why. It'll come up with some kind of rationalization to defend you from feeling like utter dog shit. There's good reason for that. It is not productive to be in a bad mood. Now, when it comes to rejection like that, here's Jordan Shanks' tip for the day that I always think really helps out, especially when you're in sales. I, I can't not, you can't see this because of how low I am on this success island, but every time I ever say really, I have to just thrust my pelvis around like so. Really? It really doesn't help that people have been saying that I look like Jim Carrey's love child with that peaky blinders cunt. Now, let me just refocus this sunlight. That did not help. Maybe it, the sun should... No, that didn't... Ah, fuck it, I'll figure it out later. I made it way worse and more noticeable. Sorry about that. Look, that's what's happening in your head. Every time something bad happens, you're gonna rationalize it anyway. That is called the psychological immune system. How do we get there quicker? Because that's all we're really concerned with in this. Every time you have a setback, I want you to be equipped so that you can bounce back Get back into whatever the, it is you're doing, wanting to become a train instructor. Just the guy that doesn't even drive the train just says like, yeah, just push that. And then when you get to another train stop, just push, well, you know the word, stop. You want to be that guy? But then you went in there and they said, you had to be crooked, get out. And then you never went back. Well, here's how you do it. Because there is reason that you have this immune system. It's so that you can go and do it again. The first thing that I think that you should always remember is every time you ever face rejection, you are a step closer to your goal. Fine. Remember that. That's the first piece of advice. Huge piece of advice. Also remember this. Isn't this incredible? Most of the time when you ask people, like, just look at the bright side of life. Like, no. No. So, if you have a coach, they'll always ask you, oh, okay, well, if you had to think about something uh, positive, what would it be? And just giving people that little buffer of, well, you know, I know that you can't at the moment. Yes, you're very right, because the brain always wants to be right. I know mine does. <laughs> so, what happens instead is that you ask the person, yeah, but just imagine that you could, and then people do imagine, because that's what the brain does anyway, just imagine things. Aren't we all stupid? Well, everyone except me, obviously. Make sure that you like and subscribe because I've got a bunch of tips like this. And also, what we, what we know though, is that you ask somebody to look at the positive side of something, the brain is just gonna go, no! But what happens on a gear stick? If you go from one to four, but if you go from one to two, so what's two? Two from negative, gear two that is, not two steps. The gear from negative after that is neutral. How the French say it? Don't know. Don't speak French. Fucking frogs. I think that that's the way to go. That's what all the research is showing. When you have to do that on yourself, obviously it's better to just feel 
happy immediately and you can do it you can but the problem is a lot of the time you don't feel like doing it but it's very 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 simple to stop the negative emotion so let's go back to the point of i was fired from my job what do i do in this situation well the correct answer would be instead of you sitting there saying i'll never get a job ever again what's the phrase could be good could be get bad who knows just put that in as opposed to just labeling it as a bad situation, just immediately label it as, well, we don't know. We don't know. Maybe it's bad. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'll be on a smoking trash heap and homeless. And Well, yeah, if, you, if you're in America, yeah, yeah, probably, probably. Yeah, I bet, you, I bet you're not the, don't think you're the land of the brave anymore, do you? Or maybe you do think that because you'll be fighting a rat for a slice of pizza. But back here, you're probably not going to be homeless because you didn't go to a job interview or you didn't get the job interview. So you could say that. Yeah, that's one outcome. But another outcome is that there might be a far better job tomorrow. Maybe. Instead of just saying, no, no, there's one just around the corner. You're not going to believe that. But what you will believe is could be good, could be bad. Who knows? That's every scenario in life. If you think about it at the raw truth of it, that's reality. You don't know what's around the corner. You don't know if it's gonna be good. You don't know if it's gonna be bad. All you know is that you can bring a superior psychology to the situation and you can probably turn it around to be good. But we are giving you all of these little increments so that you are able to do that. This is the way that you get out quickly. You move to second gear. Another thing that people always vastly underestimate is Changing the meaning. Yes, we've talked about this a lot. And yes, this video has gone on a little bit too long. But when you're talking about your psychological immune system, just know that your brain is naturally gonna come up with a meaning that allows you to tolerate whatever happened. Usually the meaning is, especially with shitheads, system's rigged, fuck the system. It's gonna come up with its own meaning. What if instead of just having this meaning that's gonna come up afterwards of the boss was biased, which is what's going to happen? You are going to come up with that meaning. You are. Otherwise, you're just going to sit there and be like, oh, I'm such a failure. And some of you might be doing that. So maybe I shouldn't say that so directly because there probably will be a bunch of people that sit there for the rest of their life. No, I'm never leaving again. I'm going to be one of those Japanese man boys. What a life, huh? Just playing FIFA. It sounds pretty sick to me. I don't know why they think that that's a bad phenomenon in life. Oh, because of the economic productivity. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, it's pretty shit. I think that you should be focusing on this point though. Instead, you change the meaning to something empowering. Let's go back to the job example. Yet again, Jesus, this is worse than a job interview, isn't it? Just the same fucking annoying questions. But yeah, you got fired from a job. I always use, and we referred back to what I previously said, quote, can't quote myself. <laughs> I can't remember well enough. You go back to the previous job interview, you lose. What's the immediate thing that you think? The rejection made me stronger. I feel stronger as a result of rejecting. That was me facing the resistance of reality. That's pretty cool. Not many people do that. Not many people get in the way deliberately of being rejected. You should be very happy. You should feel superiority from the fact that you got rejected. Most people will never put themselves in that position. On top of that, just know that one day it's going to be funny anyway. But what I don't want you to do is start having this whole, the system's rigged, it's all against me, they were biased. First off, you're just a shithead if you do that. No one wants to hang around these people. They're, they're, that is the epitome of why Reddit's bad. They're just insufferable cunts that just blame external factors with these very general conspiratorial concepts. But the other thing that's really, really, really damaging to you is... If it's external, there's nothing you can do about it. Imagine if your entire worldview is, I am completely a victim of circumstance. You can believe that, or you can believe that you are trailblazing. You are putting your feet in the fire. You are making them get calluses so that the next time you're walking on the coals, yeah, this is better than Nike's for me now. So. If you liked that, make sure that you sign up to Jordan Shanks because I've got a bunch of that advice there. Heaps of that advice. Way better advice as well. Way better advice. I still give you guys the good stuff for the freebies, but you know, if, I'm, if you're paying for it, it's going to be good, especially because it's just going to be a kick up the ass all the time instead of some cheap... Jesus, I'm just... I'm having a bad hair day. Um, but instead of having that kick up the ass, 
uh, you are having that every single day. I cannot make this point enough. You should be investing in yourself. If it's not for me, do it with some other self-help channel. But there is nothing that you can be investing your time and money in that making you more efficient, you more effective, you more mentally strong, you just physically strong. That's what self-help does. Self-help is incredible for that one reason, that it is the one thing that constantly opens up your mind to the thought that no, there is a better me and it starts today. So if you want to come and see the live seminars, I think that I'm going to Melbourne and of course Perth and I don't know, I'm going to other places as well. So make sure that you come see that. See my Bruce show as well while you're there. If you want to know what really happened to the defamation case, that's the only way that you're going to be doing it. Sorry that I've advertised all of these things. I've just got so much shit going on all the time now, but you get what it's like. Just subscribe.